So just before Michael Fuller Love down there at the press club, we'd seen Julie Bishop and the Defence Minister festooned with the Union Jack there in London, and both are stressing the strength and breadth of ties with the old country. But across the Tasman, our Anzac brothers seem to be a little jack of the Union Jack. New Zealand's Prime Minister John Key's heading to the polls in September, and he's pushing for a referendum before 2017 on a new flag, perhaps the Silver Fern. For John Key, the time has come to put the Union Jack and the Southern Cross behind us. I am proposing that we take one more step in the evolution of modern New Zealand by acknowledging our independence through a new flag. A special working group will be set up to oversee new design ideas and the referendum question. Allies don't come with broader shoulders, bigger hearts or greater courage than Australia. This annual dialogue reinforces the close and strong relationship between Australia and the United Kingdom, one of the closest international relationships one can imagine. I believe we will stick with the flag. There's no great demand to change it and many Australians have um, uh, fought and died under that flag, sadly. We have um, competed in Olympic Games under that flag and there's a sense of pride in it. It also contains the Southern Cross. What is important is that we are an independent, um, successful young nation that's becoming more engaged in the world. And that there, the work of our senior editor, John Lang. But even those with Republican leanings here in Australia are reluctant to become standard bearers for the Change the Flag campaign. Bill Shorten is one of them. I believe that our flag reflects our history. Also with the Southern Cross, it reflects the full diversity. As the, our national anthem says, uh, people from all across the world have come to our shores. But I think our flag... Uh, describes our history, it describes uh, the unique Australian identity we have. Uh, I do, however, support uh, a debate about us becoming a republic. I think it is long overdue to have an Australian head of state, but I do not support changing our flag.